Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm me. <laughs> and I am here to give y'all some advice, whatever it is. So I got my first question. We just gonna jump in. Cause I don't have an intro and stuff yet, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get used to this blog again. So once I get in the swing, we gonna get it together for sure. So, my first question is, when did I start my spiritual journey with God and how did I start it? And I'm just start by saying like, I always knew that, like you, you'll know, like you know what you know when it comes to God, like you just always, you, you'll be different and then you be trying to fit in, but you can't fit in. Like, I was going through that. I've been, I was going through that as being young. Like, I don't know. But yeah, so I just knew I was different when I was younger anyway. And once I got older, it started showing a little way more. Um, But I really didn't get into it, get into it until like 2013. And even then I was playing, like I wasn't ready. Like, I was ready. I thought I was ready, but I really wasn't ready because I still was doing stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing. But when you are walking with God, you got to have a strong team around you. So I had people around me that wasn't even in sync with God. Like, I was spreading, like, the word, basically. But I didn't really know the word like that. <laughs> At that time, 2013, I didn't really know the word like that. Um, I was, you know, I just know, like, God, we don't play with God, like, period. <laughs> we don't play with God. My mom, you know, brought me into it, but I really didn't get into it, into it on my own until 2013. I started living in Devin, but then I still was, like, doing stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing, hanging around people I wasn't supposed to be hanging around, then, you know, being around people that ain't, you know, that ain't spiritually yoked with me. But, you know, you got to learn in life um i had really got into god like into god into god in 2017 i want to say and that's just because i have been in, in a toxic relationship for like a while and i was losing myself like losing myself for real and it's crazy because like God sent people in your life when you need them. My cousin had just started going with this girl, and I had started working at my part time job, and she was working there full time, like downstairs in the dining area. And he was working downstairs. He was like, "I want you to meet my girl." Da 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 da. I was like, mm. "Well, my cousin be telling me to date girls." I'd be like, mm. <laughs> "Like for real," but I met her. Talked to her. We hit it off. It was cool. Like boom. We started hanging with each other, the second third, like, we had went out to, on a lunch date one time. I was like, okay, we cool, you know, da, da, da. But then, it was just one particular time me and my ex had got into it, like, my toxic relationship. <laughs> I had a couple of toxic relationships, so, yeah. <laughs> That's why God was like, girl, this is you. This is you, because you keep on. Keep on keeping on. So, we had got the fight in that I, like, yeah, it was crazy. I'm a fighter, like, <laughs> but not no more. Like, I used to be a fighter, but now I fight with God. Like, he was like, girl, you can't be out here in these streets fighting. You gotta, so now I'm, I'm a spiritual fighter. I'm a fighter for the Lord, okay? We don't. Hustle a little bustle like we used to. So, oh, um, <laughs> I said, hustle a little bustle. Let me stop it. This is what it gets for me. Um, and, um, yeah, we had got the right now. Uh, the next day, I was telling her about it. She was like, why don't you come spend the night with me? Or whatever. Because I think I was off for the next few days or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really remember. But I had to be. I had to be off because I don't be spending that with my birthday. 
um she was like come spend the night with me and so i ended up spending the night with her and we watched this movie war room well she asked me that i watched it before and i was like no i, I had never heard of it i don't yeah, I don't think I ever had heard of it. And she was like, oh, you gotta watch it so good. Like, it'll build your bond with God. Like, me and God had already had this thing going on, you know. Because I was working on myself. Like, the energy that I was putting out in the world was not. Because I was going through a toxic relationship. So, the energy that I was putting out in the world was not good. Um, I was angry. I was bitter. I was, I was, I was mad. Who I am today, for sure. <laughs> like, Nowhere near it. Like I said, I was losing myself. I was losing myself, trying to find myself. And I was... Me and God had a relationship to the point. I was like, you know, I don't want to be this person no more. Like, I don't want to be this angry person no more. I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to... This is not what I want to do. So, like, I was praying to him every day. But when I watched this movie, like, particularly... Oh, it changed. It was a game changer. <laughs> it was... All the way a game changer. I was like, oh man, God, we finna get in it. We is we was finna do this. So I started praying more and more. Like I would just be putting notes down on my phone, like jotting the notes down on my phone to God. Like, you know, my prayers. I'm in my phone, put them in my notes. Um now I journal. I like to see it. I mean, you still can do it on your phone, but I journal more, like, you know, about my day and stuff like that. Because now I'm like, I, I want to see it more than, you know, type it. I feel like I feel better when I'm writing a pen on the paper for some reason. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but yeah. So I started doing more. I started praying more, um, reading my Bible more, like, getting into it. Um,. I'm a very big fan of Sarah Jacobs Roberts. I was watching her and like she helped me through a lot as well because like she sweet and bonnets. <laughs> like girl. She be like girl. <laughs> and I'm with it like because yeah you need to have somebody break down the Bible to you in a way that you can understand because if you don't understand it you gonna always think like oh no. And the whole time the Bible is written on a, I think seventh grade, seventh grade level, reading level. We just make it hard than what it is because the words is crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's really, when you get the full breakdown, you break it down. Because, like, I read the Bible, like, you know how people be reading those hood urban stories or like if you've been in these streets so you really know what's going on. That's how I be reading the Bible. It's like God is God was the biggest gangster ever out here on these streets. Like people be saying they can't rock with God. Why not? If you a gangster, like he's God. So he's big G, literally. Big G. Cause the way he be talking to them people and getting them together, he <laughs> Yeah, y'all just got to read what he be saying because I used to be like, oh, okay, God. Okay. Smash my wig back then because <laughs> that's what he do. He'll smash your whole wig off. But I was really hanging out with the killers and the robbers, the thieves. Peter cut a whole ear off for him. Like, he was really been a kill for God. Like, and God ain't even about killing. Like, <laughs> Oh, Judas, like, yeah. If you know the stories, you you know. Because God was really out here hanging with the killers of the robbers. No cap. Like, that's no cap at all. But you got to get somebody to break down the Bible for you to be able to understand. So, um, and fasting. Fasting is one for sure. Like, you have to fast. I used to not fast. And God used to deal with me like, girl, mm-mm. You pray, pray and fast. Now I be even be like dry fasting with no water. It took me a while to fast. Like, 12 hours, no food. 
But your girl likes to eat. But you really can fast from anything. Like you could do your phone. You could do the TV. Like whatever you feel like. Sweets. Uh, whatever you feel like you need to like. That's having a hold on you. You can fast up from it. But I just choose food because your girl like to eat. So if I put my food down for 12 hours. And just drink water. No. At first, it was a problem. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But then it just became like cake because the more you do it, the more your body be like, all right, cool. Now I be, it's to the point that some folks don't even need to drink water. I could just do a dry fast all day. And I'm like, oh, your girl growing. <laughs> okay, snacks for the girl because dry fasting. <laughs> your girl was. Trembling about the drinking water fast. <laughs> so now that I can drive fast, I feel like I'm maybe I have big body fans. Remember I used to be dusty because the dry fast is where it's at. Okay, so yeah. Um <laughs> and then still trying to figure out. I get off track, but I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I really do. Um, fasting, talking, praying to God more. Um, reading your Bible, of course. Um, reading spiritual books. A lot of I got a lot of knowledge and wisdom from spiritual books. Joyce Myers, that's my home girl. She got some books that are really do what you need to do um it's a lot of different things that you can do like but heavy on devotionals because devotionals make you think about yourself and what you need to do and how you need to get it together like yeah Yeah, it's really relationship though. Like, if you build a relationship with God, He gonna make sure you straight. He just wants you to acknowledge Him, make Him the head of your life before you make any big moves. Like, you know how you be asking people's opinion, ask for His first and see how. Like, that's how you build your bond. Like, that's how you build. ask Him first. Like. You will go to your mom or your dad. Well, God is your father. So, you like, got something to buy this uh, iPhone 13. Should I do it or not? Like, do you think I should be able to do that? Well, I'm finna, I'm trying to buy this house, God. What I'm gonna do? Like, what should I do? How should I go about it? And he'll show you the moves. He'll put the right people in your path. Like, that's why I don't really understand why people don't even want to talk to God. Because when you tell, well, you don't tell him. Well, you let him know, like, what you have in your head. And how you trying to go about it. It ain't never going to be the way you try to go about it. Because he's going to do it his way. But his way is the best way. Because he be giving you stuff you ain't even asked for. Like, ooh, we doing it like this. Like that, like that's how I be. I be like, mm. they be like, oh, like people be like, hype for you. You be like, to God be the glory. It really be to God be the glory because I ain't even asked for that. I could ask for a Honda of nineteen ninety nine, and he'll pop out and give you a Honda twenty twenty two. That's the kind of God I serve, like. But I just said I want something simple. He be like, but you ain't that simple for real. You know, you ain't a simple person. Put yourself on that throne. You, my child. You a child of a king. Carry yourself that way. And that's it. Like, you be thinking you got it because you of the world. Like, oh, yeah. Self-made. I did it with my help. No bad. You know, I was grinding. <laughs> that's how people would be. I was so made. I was so Hey, I did this. Like, this was me. No, honey. No. 
say I'd rather do it God's way. I put the work in, but God exceeded it, okay? All I did was do what he required me to do. And sometimes he only needs me to do this too much, this, this little bit. And then he do beyond what you even think of. You be like, ooh. Okay, I ain't asked for this, but okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it. That's how I be right. I ain't even asked for all this. But let's do. Let's do what we do. <laughs> okay, we're going to make it shake. That's how I be. Let's get that. And then when I try to do stuff on my own, you be like, I'm finna humble you. I'm finna humble you because this ain't even what I told you to do. So that's why you got to understand what people be like, well, how would he do this, that, and the third? Yeah, because first of all, he didn't even tell you to do it that way. Second of all, like, everything go by him. Okay? So if he chose to take it away, this is because it wasn't for you no way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to humble you. That's basically what he's saying. You so, you so self-made. You so this I'm going to show you how self-made you are, for real. I'm just a messenger, y'all. I'm just a messenger. Because that won't even find my notes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much the spiritual journey. It's really not too much. You just stay consistent with him. You talk to him. You pray to him. You fast. You, you know, just be consistent in your journey. Self-love. Like, building a relationship with God it really helps you with your self-love and self-care because he starts giving you confidence within yourself that you didn't even know that you had or you didn't feel like you had or whatever the case may be or somebody took it from you. I know when you be in relationships with people, whether it's, you know, intimate, um, friendships, family, some people tear you down. Like, they tear you down and you really don't know who you are. You trying to figure out who you are in this big world. And it's hard. And then you be around a, the wrong people who really don't know how to speak life into you. Like, you have to be around people that speak life to you. Like, I have some people on my phone line that I call them and I be like, hey, I need you to pray for me. I don't even have to give them no specific. They'll ask, like, if you need specifics or like if like whoever I need prayer for or if it's a family member or something I'll be like you know can you pray for one of my family members they be like what's the name so that way because we need to be specific on who we praying for but other than that done they text me in Jesus name amen when two or three are gathered or more like we gonna get it done like you need friends in your corner like that that you don't really need to explain the details to just send a text message. You don't even got to pick up the phone. You need prayer. Get you some friends that pray for you, like, for real. It's crazy where we living in. We need to stay prayerful in agreement with God. We really do. But I'm not one here to preach. <laughs> I just want to teach y'all how to be spiritual. Like, it's really a relationship. You have to build that relationship with God. And when you start building, you start understanding, he starts showing you things, he starts teaching you things about yourself that you never know. Your gifts start being built up in your spirit, and, you know, you start doing things that you never thought you could do. And it's not by your by you, it's by his grace and his glory. Um that must have been for somebody because this was not even in my notes. <laughs> like, not at all. Um yeah. It's really a relationship. You built that relationship with him. He's going to make sure you straight. I mean, regardless, he loves you. Regardless. He's always going to be there regardless. But he's not going to be pushy. Yeah, that's why that's on my mind. He's not pushy. Like, God's a gentleman. He, um, he's not pushy. If you knock on the door, he will open. But he's not going to keep on, you know, trying to make you see that he's here. He wants you to acknowledge him. And then, but he's always going to give you that grace. So, yeah. That's how I basically started my relationship with God. 
And from then on, we've been rocking and rolling through it all. Celibacy. Yep, yep, yep. That's another one. I'm like, I know I'm missing something. Celibacy. Um, yeah, that's a key factor for us. I, want, I mean, for guys too, but more for females. Because guys think if you be doing stuff like that, that is love. I mean, I think girls do too, but you primarily see dudes like, well, if you love me, you gon' give me that good, good. No. The real tea is, if you love me, you gon' wait for this goodness. And I be feeling like that's the most sexiest thing a man can do, wait for it, right? You hold me down, I ain't give you none. Mm, like that's hmm hmm but who but cause yeah we are building like this is what I want to see if you are my husband cause I'm not throwing up nothing in the spiritual realm no more that ain't for my husband like this, that right there that's that's my husband okay my husband that's it <laughs> But I'm for real, like, when you have <coughs> sex, excuse me, I caught it up. So when you have sex, it just really, it makes things more complicated than what it gotta be because you are holding these emotions and stuff that you don't really know if that's your husband or not. Like, you just. No, because we are intertwining spirits. We sending that up into the spiritual realm. Like, that's my husband the whole time. My husband ain't supposed to be treating me like that. He ain't supposed to be doing all this. Like, mm -mm, ain't no husband of mine. <laughs> like, nah, ain't no husband of mine treating me like that. Mm -mm. That ain't what it's about. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, like, because that's not like having sex makes you think. Stuff is love that's not really love. Like, love ain't supposed to make you feel like that. Give or take, like, when you get married, you will be going through different things. But it's not supposed to make you feel the way... Nah, it just ain't. It's just not supposed to make you let people walk over top of you. You think that's okay. Like, no. It's not. Um... And that's how we end up being with the wrong people, too. Like, you stay longer because you really think that this person is supposed to be for you. And it's really not. And God will continue to show you that that person's not for you. Like, they will continue to hurt you and hurt you and hurt you over and over and over. And so, you get it. And sometimes people have babies by these people. And they be like, okay, well, we have a kid together, so I'm going to stick it through. No. Yes, you, your child was a gift from God. But that does not mean that you have to stay because it's not healthy for your children as well. So, yeah, be mindful who you having your children by. Be mindful about who you build relationships with. That's why we need to be celibate. That's exactly why. Because when you start doing it, it start complicating things. And you start thinking stuff is love and stuff is acceptable. For things because we just doing this little 10 to 15 minute thing that's how he making up that's how he's saying he's sorry we don't talk about what's going on no more i'm not even gonna say he because i don't want <laughs> i don't want dudes to think that i'm just like you know throwing shade tea because i'm called for toxic relationships for women like i that's my calling i'm supposed to help women get out of toxic relationships but males be in a toxic relationship too. But I can't really speak on that because I'm not a male. Maybe one day I will get a male on here and we can go back and forth about how, you know, males go through toxic relationships just as well as females work. That, you know what? Okay, y'all. I like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, maybe I'll do that. As well as go into deeper details about soul ties too. That'll be an episode as well. Cause I really feel like we need to be more informed, especially the young girls, because really God is not a thing for this young generation. They don't really understand what's, you know, I'm not saying y'all don't understand, but I'm saying that 
it's really not as taught as much. Like, when I was coming up, church was, like, on TV. Like, you would see more black families on TV. I'm not throwing no shade on TV either, but it was, like, religious. It, it was incorporated with TV. Now, it's really not incorporated with TV no more. Like, you don't really see the gospel and stuff like that. Like, when I was young, Kurt, Kurt Franklin was on BET, like, stomp. And my people say, I'm my church say, yeah, like, that was a video. We had the videos going live. Like, do we need a brother to share? Say, do we need a... Hey, maybe somebody want a Millie Rock a free. <laughs> but yeah, like, that was a thing. Like, when I was coming up, we seen that. It's not really that much stuff going on now. That's really... So I'm not throwing no shade, no tea to the to the youngins, but my generation, yeah, we seen it on TV all the time, and it was like very common. Now it's not. So yeah, like church is really not incorporated. They don't really speak on those things now as they did before. And I feel like, yeah, the most you won't see is like TikTok and. YouTube probably, but yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I know for me, I got certain people that I subscribe to that speaks to me. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, basically that's my spiritual journey. Celibacy, key, hold that thing. Hold that thing, because that's the power. Like, I really feel like we should explain that more, <laughs> because my mom used to say, once you give it up, you can't get it back. And I was like, girl, what that mean? I mean, she had me scared for a while. I was like, okay, well, maybe I ain't. But then when I was like, okay, ooh, but it ain't, you know? And then I was like, okay, this must. It's not it. Like, it's messing my head up. <laughs> it is. It's messing my head up because I don't understand. I'm not talking anymore. I'm just... We ain't even talking about it. We just... This is makeup. No. No. We're not going to keep on making up. Because we're going to keep making up. You're going to keep on doing it again. Make it make sense. But we're just not going to be doing this. Okay? So, yeah. And I've been clear, like... My thought process has been clear. My my bond with God has been very clear. I'm not going to say you might not have no slip-ups. Because once you say that you celibacy, oh, trust me, it's going to be like, be it in your world. Like, everybody going to be in your line trying to see if you want Netflix and chill. And mm -mm, I don't Netflix and chill, honey. <laughs> no, we not finna Netflix and chill. You need to hit me up at reasonable hours. And no, we're not spending no lights. But you have to be strong enough to, like, I don't know. I think because I was raised by a strong black woman, like, my mom, look, okay, she'll get you together. And I'll get you together, too. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but it took me a while to be there, like, because when I'm in love, honey, what's that song? Oh, dang, I don't even know that dang song. I got it on my top of my head, but I can't even. But when I'm in love, it'd be like, I'm in love, I'm in love, and you just see me. Like, I'd be so in love. I'm infatuated. Like, you can have everything, <laughs> like anything. I'm not like that no more. But when I was younger, I was <laughs> like, you get happy. You get happy. Whatever makes you happy, it's going to make me happy. We're going to live together. We're going to live. Yeah, all that stuff. No, we not doing that no more. <laughs> Got it. We not doing that no more. We not living life like that no more. So, yeah. Um, I had to. That was my boundary. <clears throat> I had to cut it. Cut it. Because it was confusing things for me. And I really... I live life on a straight and narrow now. Like, not straight and narrow because I'll still be messing up. Don't get that twisted. But I don't be doing that. <clears throat> That's one of the things that I do not do. I do not do. 
And when you don't do stuff like that, the devil be trying to get you to do other things. Like, so you just gotta have strong willpower. And like I said, just keep a relationship with God. If you mess up, that is okay. Like, if you slip, it's fine. Just start tomorrow off with a different day. Like, one thing about God, you repent, you ask for forgiveness, He forgives. You're the one that holds it onto your heart. So, let it go. You start over the next day. You stick to what you know. I always say be intentional. Like, at nighttime, you need to, like, write what, you, what your plans, what your goals is for the day. Like, you know, little things so that way you know what's going on. Plan your day so that way your day don't plan you. But, you know, everything is not going to go up the plan. Know that, too. But just be more intentional about what you got going on in life. And that's it, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, pray fast, read your Bible, celibacy if you can, if it's possible for you. I really encourage it. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. It's really not hard. I think we just make it hard. But it's a lifestyle, honestly. When you start getting close to the God, you start eating the right things. You start working out more. Ooh, working out too. I will say that. Working out. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> working out. Like, I'm trying to tell you. That get you right. Hitting that gym, even if you're not hitting the gym, if you're doing at home cardio, because it's a lot of little videos I'll be watching on YouTube with the dancing, they get your, your blood rolling. That really helps you too. Like, it takes away a lot of stress, it relieves a lot of stress, you know. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Working out, fasting, praying, celibacy. Being intentional, making God first. That's really it. It's really not as hard as we make it. I think because we think it's like more religion. If you think of it like religion, yeah, you're not going to do it. Because you're like, well, that's that rule, that's that rule, da 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 da, blah 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 blah. Um, just think of it as a relationship. Because when you build that relationship with God, you ain't even going to be thinking about the religion. It's just going to come automatically. Like, like he said, come as you are. Come as you are. He didn't drill down people for, ooh, okay, you still drinking. Like, he didn't do that. He was like, come as you are. And then gradually, you will stop those things that have a hold on you. Like, it will go away. It's not going to go away like, bam. But gradually, the more you walk with him, gradually it starts coming natural. And you, a lot of stuff, you start shutting it off like a... Like a shit, like a snake shed skin. You start shutting that stuff off. All that dead weight. All the dead weight. You start shaking it off. Shaking it off. <laughs> All right, y'all. I was silly. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's the tea, sis. That's the tea. That's the spiritual journey. Not too much to it. No, you I think when you really get with God, you really start seeing that it's not as hard as they say, whoever they is, but it's not as hard as they say. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Be sure to email me your advice questions. Um, link is in my bio. Link tree is on there. The email address is yours truly. Neek, truly with a L Y, not an E Y, because my handles are L E Y, but my address is L L Y at Gmail. So send me questions, send me questions, cause I'm ready to get this thing rolling every every week. It's a new advice question. Hopefully it'll be to the point that I'll be like overflowing, that I'll be doing more than once a week 
Y'all yeah. gonna get tired of seeing me. <laughs> nah, y'all yeah, ain't gonna get tired of seeing me because I'm gonna spice it up. I'm gonna spice it up, period. You know? Alright, y'all be blessed. Y'all stay prayerful. Y'all stay hopeful. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. Stay encouraged. Be blessed. Be safe. Love y'all.